Hi, I'm Bill Kinney. Welcome to yet another video on helping people study for actuarial exam two on financial math. I'm a big advocate for really, really working hard at studying, practicing a ton of problems, so that when you go into this exam, you pay your money to take this exam, you can know pretty well when you read a problem within maybe 30 seconds what kind of approach you should use to solve the problem, that you uh, have that kind of confidence and you really can carry it out. And so we want to keep practicing. And it seems like you can never really quite get enough practice, I think, with bond problems. There are a lot of different types of problems that you can encounter. So I was looking for more problems, and I found number 168 in a 2017 sample exam about finding the redemption value for a bond when you're given the amortization of the premium in the fourth coupon payment, as well as some other information, some other basic information about the bond. Here is the problem. You are given following information about a 20-year bond with a face amount of 7,500. The bond has an annual coupon rate of 7.4% paid semi-annually like usual. Purchase price results in an annual nominal yield rate to the investor of 5.3% convertible semi-annually. The amount of for the amortization of the premium, this is a premium bond bought higher than the redemption value because the coupon rate is higher than the yield rate. The amount of amortization of the premium in the fourth coupon payment is $28.31. The goal is to calculate the redemption value of the bond. So what I'd like to do is I'd like you to show you two methods to solve this problem. The first method, I'm going to use the formulas that we've been looking at recently in videos 107 through 111, I think, and um, show you that that actually, if you've got the formula memorized, it's a superior method for solving this problem. And then we'll, I'll show you a second way of solving it that takes a little longer. It's really based on the solution that you find in the answer key to this sample exam. All right, but if you've got the formula memorized, and what formula would that be? Formula for what you might call PRT. You might think of it as being principal repaid, especially when it's a bond bought at a premium. It is the same as the amount of the amortization of the premium at time t. t is not in years, it's in half years. These are coupon periods. We're going to figure out this at when t is 4 here, or we know what it is when t is 4, excuse me, it's 2831. Uh, you can write the formula in terms of the face amount and r, the uh, semi-annual coupon rate, but that's only if the bond is redeemable at par. In general, you need to use the redemption value, c, and the modified coupon rate, little g, and write the formula for this like this. Okay, so C, again, is the redemption value. That's the thing we want to find. Little g is the, is the modified coupon rate. Little g satisfies the condition that makes this equality true. We actually won't need to solve for little g to solve the problem, it turns out. Um, you can use the equation pretty quickly here. 2831 must be PR4. We can go ahead and write C times G minus J. What is J? J is going to be the effective semi-annual yield rate, 5.3% divided by 2. J is going to be 0 0.0265. Excuse me here while I turn off a notification on my computer. And uh, that will be the subscript on the V as well, 0 0.0265, that is the semi-annual yield rate. N is 40, right? 20 times 2. Uh, T here is 4. 40 minus 4 is 36, plus 1 is 37. We will be able to go ahead and find V to the 37th power, divide both sides by that, multiply the C through here, use the fact that CG equals F times R, and F times R is going to be 7,500 times 0 0.037, right, half of 7.4, um, to help us ultimately solve for C. We'll be able to replace CG with this product, which is the coupon amount, 7,500 times 0 0.037 is 277.5. We will ultimately be able to solve for C. Let's go ahead and figure out V to the 37th power, though. 1.0265 is 1 plus J. Reciprocal is V to the 37th power is this. Uh, divide both sides by that. So I'll take its reciprocal and multiply times 
And the new equation I get is that 74.5111 equals this thing here. Multiply the C times G through, or the C through, I should say. Replace the CG with 277.5. Add 0 0.0265 C to both sides. Subtract 74.5111 from both sides. So let's take this thing and negate it. Sorry, and add 277.5 to get 202.9888688 over there. Now divide everything by 0 0.0265, divide by 0 0.0265 to get C to be 2659.96, which rounds to, or excuse me, 7659.96, which rounds to 7660. And that is answer A for this sample problem from sample exam FM, and that is the correct answer. And that is pretty quick. So if you know this formula, just plug in the numbers, use this fact too, and you can solve for C pretty quickly without even bothering to solve for the modified coupon rate little g. All right, but what if you don't know that formula, the formula again, the two key formulas being this one and this one? What if you don't remember that, don't have it memorized? Could you still figure this out? Yep. So now what I'm going to show you is the method in the answer key. Um, the amount of the, again, amortization of premium in the fourth coupon payment is 2831. That means the, the difference between the book values at time three and time four, which you could maybe label OB as well for outstanding balance, must be this 2831. And you can think of these things as being present values of the remaining coupons plus present value of the redemption value. So the coupons again are 277.5. If we've just made the third coupon payment, there are 37 coupon payments left, so I need to multiply this by A37.0265. Then I would have C times VJ to the 37th power. For the book value at time four, after the fourth coupon payment, now there are 36 coupon payments left. So I get a 36 there instead of a 37. And this would be V to the 37th power, 36 power instead. So let's go ahead and calculate these things to simplify these as linear functions of, it, of C. Then we subtract, the, take the top minus the bottom, set it equal to 2831 and we'll again be able to solve for C. So let's do that. So it takes a little longer, but it is based on more basic principles. All right, so we got uh, 837, 1.0265. Here's V, raise it to the 37th power. Calculating this thing here, subtract from one, divide by 0 0.0265, plus 277.4, or excuse me, not plus, um, times, times 277.5, ah, divide by 277, okay. Sorry, I keep making these mistakes with my calculator. 277.5, there we go. 6493.05, that's 6493. I'll carry more decimal places. 1.0265 reciprocal to the 37th power gives 0.37994323C. Now to the next line, 1.0265 reciprocal. I probably should have stored V just in a memory bank here. Um, raise that to the 36th power, subtract from one, divide by 0 0.0265 times 277.5, I think I'll do the subtraction here right away of these two things, just to save a little time perhaps. 7287. This minus this gives 105.4342474. Maybe I'll store that in register one. And then I have also a um, V to the 36, 1.0265 reciprocal to the 36th power. So I get 0.39001173C. Subtract that from 0.3799. You'll get a negative number. So 
we ultimately get a minus 0 0.0100685C. Uh, that must equal BV3 minus BV4 is the given, the amount of the amortization of the premium. That must equal 28.31. And now we have a linear equation that we can solve for C and hopefully get the same answer. I'll write it as 0 0.0100685C equals, well, let's negate this thing here and store that in register 2. This is now in 2. I to take what's in register 1, subtract 28.31, recall 1, minus 28.31, 77.1242473, divide by what's now in register 2, recall 2, and I do get the same answer. C is 7659.96, which again rounds to 7660. Okay? So it is using more basic principles, but it does definitely take longer. If you remember this formula, you've got a bit of a shortcut to solving a problem like this and maybe some other problems too.